Hello friends and welcome to the next video. In this video, I want to talk about why I continue to play drums despite the situation we musicians find ourselves in, in the modern world with streaming and the, how hard it is to make a living as a musician. Now drums have always meant something more to me than just, just playing or just something to do. And they always had a strange fascination to them. You know, this, I think this can only be achieved if you are a super nerd, you know, <laughs> some kind of like, uh, let's just say you're different, you know, different than the average person. That thing, that weirdness you have, that nerdy quality, that connection, let's say, to your instrument is what separates you from the average person. And that, that's really one of the biggest gifts you have as a musician. You know, the, the, this ephemeral, nerdy fascination with music, you know, the way, the way that music affects you, um, the way you interpret music and how it brings things into your body. It's, a, it's just, you know, it's something completely different than what the average listener feels when they hear music, you know, that's probably why you're a musician. <laughs> so anyway, drumming in particular is something very deep. And, and I always wondered why. Now, if you, if you know something about me, you know that I've, I've talked to a lot of different kind of people about this, uh, shamans and scientists and ethnomusicologists and researchers and uh, you know they, they all seem to agree with these things that uh, that uh, music is something a little more outside the normal experience of life it's something magic let something you know what what other words can I use hypnagogia for example Hypnagogia is a state in which you are in between dreaming and awake. And it's something uh, that uh, great scientists, inventors, and, and artists have used uh, on purpose to try to create new work. Like, uh, uh, for example, setting alarms or doing things that would wake them up, you know, right, in the, right as they were falling asleep to see what that would induce. Um, uh, so that they, their creative spark might be awakened. I think, I think drumming, you know, is, is something that is super connected to that in the sense that when you play, it creates this out-of-body experience, this state, without having to do external things like setting alarms or whatever. Um, just the act of playing, you know, in, induces a form of hypnosis and hyp hypnagogia. And, uh, you know, Sometimes I, I wondered why, you know, why we felt this strange feeling, this hypnotic, out-of-body kind of feeling you get when you play. And uh, one of the most beautiful explanations I've ever gotten is what I want to talk about today. Uh, I hope I'm not boring you guys with this stuff, but it's something very important to me and I think something you should consider as a musician because it will help you keep up the fight, you know, when when this world is so uh, sometimes gross, you know, when, when it comes to the arts and appreciation for the arts in different countries, the appreciation is much higher. But let's say in the West, it just keeps continually degenerating into, a, into a ugliness, you know. So uh, a way to combat that is what you need. So one of the most beautiful explanations I have ever heard Rhythm is found everywhere, okay? Rhythm is composed of cycles. Now, what are cycles? Cycles can be considered to be waveforms, okay? Waveforms. Now, waveforms are found in so many things in nature. Some scientists say this is a bit of poetry going on here, but... 
uh, light is a series of wave forms. Now, the faster the light, the less we are able to see that color, let's say, color of light, ultraviolet light being one of the fastest colors. And as these waveforms slow down, they become the color spectrum, okay? You know, red, orange, green, whatever colors, okay? As these waveforms slow down, they move on to another area of interpretation that we humans have of this, of this thing, which is sound. So first, we encounter rhythm through eyes, you know, through visual, uh, visual cues, uh, light, okay? The next stage is when the waveforms slow down, we encounter it through our ears. We encounter these waveforms through our ears. And uh, the highest note, right, the highest waveform, the, the slower of the light waveforms becomes sound. Those are sounds that you can't hear. Perhaps only dogs can hear, right? But those waveforms start to slow down and we identify them as pitches. So we have colors and pitches. Now pitches has been scientifically proven by scientists to be a series of waveforms. And when you slow these waveforms down, they become rhythm. Okay, uh, for example, polyrhythms, certain polyrhythms create pitches. Uh, there's uh, 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 amazing studies that have been done with this. That it's absolutely true that uh, polyrhythms, when they're super accelerated, create pitches. So these notes that you're hearing, the highest note that you're hearing is a series of, of rhythms put together. As those things are slowed down, you know, you become uh, aware of the, of the pitches, uh, like uh, notes, you know, and when you go down to the lowest note, that's a slower pitch. If you ever hit a piano note, you know, hit the last note on a, on a keyboard or piano, and you hear, you can like almost hear like the note breaking up. That's because the rhythms are starting to become apparent, you know. Uh, as these waveforms slow down, the rhythms of the waveforms are actually hearable. You can start to hear the rhythms together that form those waveforms, okay? Now, I'm not the best at explaining this, but this is one of the most beautiful explanations that I've, I've gotten. And uh, it has inspired me for decades to keep playing, to, to, to know that when, when I am playing, I am connected to all this stuff. So the slower these pitches become, they turn into rhythm, and that's where we as drummers come in, okay? These rhythms are represented in our playing in different ways. So when we play, we are feeling this state of hypnagogia or out-of-body experience because we're connected to all these things in the universe through our playing. What, we're, what we are is a three-dimensional almost manifestation of these effects. We're creating these effects with our bodies and, and then our bodies are, are enthralled by the actions. And since our bodies are, are, create, are connected to the universe, you know, we are all stardust and all that stuff. And, you know, we can feel what's going on. It's super interesting. That feeling, that thing, that thing that maybe the average person will never, ever understand or get, you know, because they just don't have what, that weirdness that we have as musicians. They don't have that nerdiness that maybe it's, a, it's even an emotional defect. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's been many times when, when I thought this. It's, it's, it's not normal to be a musician. You know? it's, not, it's not normal. So um, those things that, that we feel are, are gold for us. And it's why that I've kept playing. I've kept playing because that feeling is so beautiful so beautiful. It's like entering a, another realm of, of existence, another dimension, another, uh, you know, state of mind. It's like third eye. The third eye, I'm sure you've all heard of that. The third eye, when you play, becomes alive. 
and you are outside of your body. You are in another place. It's really, you know, something that's not easy to explain, but I'm sure you've all felt it as musicians. If you're just a normal person and watching this, you maybe get the feeling when you hear a piece of music that you like and, and it moves you in some way. And in the most uh, sensitive, uh, normal people, let's say, um, that are connected to music, it may even bring a, an incredible emotional reaction out of you, make, make you cry, make you laugh or whatever. You are totally connected to that music. But what you are connecting with ultimately is rhythm. Because rhythm is inside every single note. Every single pitch is composed of rhythm. Every single groove that you hear is rhythm. And every rhythm eventually becomes light. And all those things are connected in normal life, in our existence. Light, uh, sound, uh, movement. You know, even the, the movement of your body inside, the heart, the heart beats, you know, has a pulse. The, the seasons of the earth, you know, spring, winter, summer, those are cycles. Cycles in which the earth spins around the sun and the sun itself spinning in the, in the galaxy. And those are all time cycles. And what we do as drummers is we represent the most raw of those things. We are almost like the most connected on a human level, let's say. Do you ever wonder why some notes or chords are, are sad and some are happy? Well, because you feel the pull of the emotion of those, of those things. And it, it has a definite effect on you. That effect that it has on you is the magic of music and the representation of what it is in life. When you walk, you're playing a rhythmic game with the earth. You're using gravity to play a rhythmic game. You push yourself off at the right moment and then bring your foot forward and rhythmically use the gravity and the, fo the force that pulls you towards the earth to move forward. Without rhythm, you can't do that. You just flounder, right? You have to have rhythm in order to move forward. So all these things are fascinating aspects of drumming. And I think those are the reasons why you feel this, this hypnagogia, why you have these out-of-body experiences is because you are connecting to everything that is alive. <laughs> Super weird. But it, perhaps that's what witch doctors and shamans of ancient uh, you know, human civilization were aware of way back then and something we lost touch with, uh, with the commercialization and loss of spirituality in uh, music. Now, I say spirituality, I don't mean religion, I mean the, the awareness, you know, of other things. Okay, so that's why I play music. I have to have that feeling, that connection, that depth, and the aspect of being in touch with that beauty makes me a better person. I even think it has healing qualities in my body, on my body, not only emotionally, but physically. If I improve my circulation, I feel that other things improve, you know, and uh, so I am I'm healthier. I, I, you know, somehow have that magic being attached to that makes me healthier as a human being. The electricity, the energy of, of rhythm, you know. <laughs> To some, this may all seem kooky, but I'm telling you, it's real. It's real because of the effect it has on people, the rhythm, music, the arts in general. Now, what is the value of art? Okay, the value of art is more visible 
when people are at their most ecstatic or most sad. When everything's normal, eh, just go through life, la 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 la, nothing you know, can affect you and you're just whatever, happy. But when things go left, when things go really bad, that's when you look at poetry. You try to get that connection back. You try to make sense out of what it means to be alive. The money and whatever else you have it just disappears and none of it matters. You just try to make sense of that moment and what it means to be alive, the emotion you're feeling. And the same thing when, it, when you're super high on whatever emotion, a great emotion, you know, you, you turn to, to music, to, to something to express that. And we musicians, we're in touch with that every day. We don't need to, to have this emotional roller coaster to, to start appreciating what that means. So that's why I still play. No matter how hard it gets, how many crap people are involved in this industry, and there are a ton of them, nobody can take away from you the ability that you have on the instrument. And the more ability you have, the more you're able to express yourself, the, the happier you will be. And I, I think that's the only reason to play. Not about the money, not about whatever girls or whatever other reason you might have. It's that connection to the infinite. It's what makes it all worth it in the end. Every day that you spend playing drums, you are connected to that amazing, amazing state of mind. All right, friends. I hope you have a good New Year's and uh, that this might reach you and help you keep going and drumming, getting better and improving for the sake of having that awareness and that connection to the universe and to drumming so that you can be a part of all that. That's the reason to get better, okay? Hope to see you on the lesson site. Peace out.